take a good look at what you see and remember it forever. Fucking sailor Jerry, Jesus Christ. <laughs> One of the most important tattooers in the 20th century. Yeah, it was like taking acid. It was like, Jesus, this is what tattoos can look like. They were so far beyond in their complexity and the sophistication, the layout, the colors, the whole thing. Jerry was the one that discovered purple as a tattoo pigment. Where in the hell is he getting purple ink? Nobody knew anything about tattooing. Tattooing was so subculture and so, like, spooky. You're up to your elbows, blood and gore every day, man. You no know, rubber gloves or any of that bullshit, man. Took his own teeth out when they went bad. Take a chopstick and hit it with a hammer. He was smoking a pipe in those days, and it certainly didn't contribute to his health. Jeez, you can't tell a man he can't smoke and drink. He'll kill you. He valued freedom with a capital F. Old Ironsides. Extremely anti-government. The only guy I ever met that hated Nixon because Nixon was too, uh, Liberal. But he loved the Pacific. Uh, he got to Hawaii in the late 20s. Oh, they sent Dude screwed and tattooed. I mean, it was for real. That's what they did. Everything happened there. There was prostitution, burlesque joints, whorehouses, bars. There were drugs. There was alcohol. There was gambling. Of course, there were tattoos. And he'd sailed the China Sea. He'd been to Japan. He'd been to all these, these places in Asia. He was influenced by Japanese art, but he didn't try to copy it. He loved so much about Japanese culture, but he still had that memory of World War II. The undercurrent was, we're going to learn this and we're going to beat them at their own game. Oh, they sent for the Navy. Oh, he's classified tattooing as about the world's the dumbest hobby. You gotta agreed. sit down after you've paid for it and with take it. So if you see somebody with a tattoo, it's a given. He sat there and took it. I guess I knew that tattooing was gonna get real popular. And of course, it went like wildfire. Oh, Skull and Crossbow. That was the pirate that I wanted to be. He was cynical because he saw it as something that deserved respect, and he just figured they were bums, you know, which most of them were, you know, most of them still are. I mean, I wouldn't trade one Jerry for a thousand black t-shirt kids. There'll be no promotion this side of the ocean.